There is hardly enough time to talk about the accomplishments of our next guest. Let me start by welcoming Comcast newsmakers to Purdue University. I'm Kevin Rader from WTHR in Indianapolis. And joining me is Dr. E.E. E. Nagishi, who won the 2010 Nobel Prize for Chemistry, he is a pioneer in developing metal-based reactions that allow for easy and efficient synthesis of complex organic, organic compounds. He joins me now. Is that the, did I get it through the most yes, simple yes, yes. way of explaining that? <laughs> You did all right, 99 points, <laughs> just Tell one me. minor. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Professor, I'll write that on here. Tell me what it's like to win a Nobel Prize, sir. Well, this was, to be frank, you know, was one of my lifelong uh, dreams coming true. So I was very pleased. And uh, life has been very, very, very hectic. But at the same time, I'm very pleased you know, I'm very glad that I won, and I feel my philosophy is to, to enjoy you know, being the Nobel laureate. So I'm bearing with a very hectic life. You are spending more time now in research. Are you happy uh, that way, or are you sad that you're out of the classroom? Uh, well, I enjoy teaching, but I enjoy research more. So that <laughs> that subtract, subtraction or addition <laughs> will give me, uh, you know, I mean, I'm happy. I'm you are happy working this. both here and then in Japan. Tell me a little bit about your life and how hectic it is. Yeah, well, uh, after the announcement, the whole country of Japan got so pleased and excited and uh, a few organizations, including the uh, Ministry of Education and Science, gave me a sort of a part-time job. So part-time jobs can add up, and now maybe I have a double, triple <laughs> time job. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about what you're working on now. Uh, so one of my biggest challenges right now is to try to solve uh, some of the most important uh, problems that uh, the human, human, you know, mankind faces today. That, uh, of course, one is, uh, you know, we all need uh, food items. We need uh, clothing items. We need uh, building, building items. We need energy. So all these are uh, getting scarce, you know, ever, you know, uh, more and more scarce. But uh, if we can uh, establish a sustainable world, in other words, waste material, one of the most uh, important waste materials is carbon dioxide, which actually, if you think of the natural evolution, this is the main starting material for, for all organic compounds. Us, we, uh, came from carbon dioxide originally, <laughs> and water. The water is luckily still reasonably abundantly available. But the carbon sources, carbon, so carbon sources are becoming increasingly you know, more scarce, as you know, the gasoline or you know, fuel, the carbon fuel needs carbon source. And the CO2 has been considered to be a waste material. If only we chemists or we, <laughs> we human beings can recycle carbon dioxide into a usable carbon, you know, more useful carbon items then our, our uh, society, our, our world, will become much more sustainable. Thank you, Dr. Nagishi. Thank yes. you for being with us yeah. on Comcast yeah. Newsmakers. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kevin Rader.